I was so pleased by the way that my uh, power supply kit from Banggood uh, turned out that um, for another another repair job that I have, I really needed um, a decent function generator, specifically sine wave, and uh, I've got a very old one, but time again for an upgrade. So I thought, why not um, get one of these kits from, from Banggood uh, for a, a digital f um, function generator, frequency generator, and uh, once again, looking at it, it appears to be uh, of uh, excellent quality. It's a little display there, and the board comes with the surface mount components already mounted, so that's good news. You also get a front panel in there, uh, cable for connecting up, and then another bag of, of goodies. So we've got to solder all of these guys on. Uh, seems to be in the main, uh, just uh, switches for the push buttons for the various functions and uh, obviously BNC connectors and stuff. So let's get this started off and uh, we'll give a review of the kit as we go. So the kit comes with uh, a fairly comprehensive uh, assembly guide, a list of the components down the down the side there that you can check against, and it gives you the suggested order to uh, to assemble the various components, starting with the back of the circuit board, then moving forward to the front and the uh, and the displays. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, do the components for the back first, as suggested. So now I've finished um, assembling the, the components, um, nothing particularly tricky, just one thing to, to note, especially these little switches must go with this uh, sort of double double dent uh, to the left hand side where the power connector is. Uh, you'll see on the other side it's just like the sort of one, one hole, so all of those are orientated the same way, and that's uh, pointed out in the instructions, uh, capacitors and other bits and pieces fairly straightforward. So uh, it suggests now before doing the, the, the final assembly to, uh, to test the unit. Now I did uh, plug this in and first off it did nothing whatsoever. Uh, the display is supposed to light up with a backlight and what I found was bizarrely, um, you see here I put, had to put a linking wire between the positive connection of the input jack and to the little pad here, um, it appears that the the via the um, the connection between the top and the bottom boards um, just just didn't work. So that was a bit disappointing. But um, now, when I plug it in and do the switch on, you can see the display illuminates there. Uh, what we have to do now is to adjust the contrast of the of the backlight. This is also in the instructions by turning this little uh, potentiometer down the bottom here. So let's get a get a tool in there and see if we can improve the contrast on that display. Right, so I think you can see that uh, is now uh, displaying correctly, and can mess around with the various buttons and such like, and everything appears to be okay. So we can move on to the next step, the uh, the final assembly. So here is the unit now uh, fully assembled and uh, looks very neat indeed. So now we put the display on, you can see it nice and clear now. It just goes through its little initial test. And then we've got the, all the different buttons. It provides a user guide as well, and we will have a play with this hooked up to, uh, to the oscilloscope so that we can see what will the functions do. Now here's a quick test um, just to check that everything's working as it should. So we've got a 1 kilohertz sine wave output and it's set to, to 5 volts 
and uh, on the oscilloscope here we've got it um, DC coupled and the center line so we have two and a half divisions either side so that's five volts uh, peak to peak which is as it should be and just checking on the frequency probably too small for you to see there but it's uh, a one kilohertz it's uh, going backwards and forwards between nine nine eight and, uh, and one kilohertz so that's pretty much on the money if we change the waveform you can see not too clever square wave at the moment but uh, need to do some some tweaking on that uh, the trapezoidal and the ramp ramp reversed and staircases uh, that would be the user defined uh, input but we don't have anything defined there at the moment and then just back to the sine wave and just the, the amplitude so bringing that up to 6 volts now so we can see 3 divisions either side 1 volt per division so yeah I'm very pleased with that it's a nice looking little kit so I've got a case coming to to put it into and uh, once again similar to the power supply I'm uh, very pleased with the quality of the kit okay there was one issue with um, with the circuit board but that was easily overcome and there's lots of support uh, if you follow the links from the Banggood page to uh, to JTEC a uh, manufacturer of this device you can get all sorts of information uh, from that uh, from that website so yes, uh, good good quality kit, and uh, I should be looking forward to using it to do a, an amplifier, or actually a pre-amplifier repair that I've got coming up.